Chuck Schumer is destroying the Democratic Party, and he is too dumb and too blind to realize it. First and foremost, the Democratic Party has lost over a thousand seats since 2010. So what do the Democratic Party do? They nominate the same old leaders, Nancy Pelosi and people like Chuck Schumer. Instead of going in a completely different direction and maybe getting someone like Tulsi Gabbard up there who can lead the Democratic Party to a more prosperous state, they continue with the same old, same old. And they believe that they will not lose anymore. And he doesn't understand what he's doing right here. I will go over it so shortly, but let's watch the video a little bit. After careful deliberation, I have concluded that I cannot support Judge Neil Gorsuch's nomination to the Supreme Court. Uh, it wasn't careful deliberation. You knew you were going to say no before Trump even nominated him. You are butthurt about Merrick Garland, but you failed to realize that even Joe Biden said in 1992 that during an election year, it is wrong for the president to nominate someone to the Supreme Court because there is too much political polarization going on in the election year, and they should let the people decide. It's funny how the Democrats preach one thing, yet they don't take their own advice. His nomination will have a cloture vote. He will have to earn 60 votes for confirmation. He will have to earn 60 votes. He said this right after he said, I will be voting no. How can you earn what is already prejudged? My vote will be no, and I urge my colleagues to do the same. He will have to earn his vote. He, he have to earn his votes. I urge my colleagues to vote no, but he has to earn his vote from them. But guys, vote no. To my Republican friends who think that if Judge Gorsuch fails to reach 60 votes, we ought to change the rules, I say if this nominee cannot earn 60 votes, a bar met by each of President Obama's nominees and George Bush's last two nominees, the answer isn't to change the rules. It's to change the nominee. This is such a flawed argument. The only reason he's bitching right now is because Donald Trump's president. Donald Trump could nominate Merrick Garland, and the Democrats would still bitch about it. And they would say, well, he's too old now. We lost our shot back then when Obama nominated him last year. This argument they make is just sad and pathetic. And it really comes off as desperate. And, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I love it. I love it because although I'm not a Republican— I do have conservative and libertarian values. And the more dipshits like him do this stuff, the more they are hurting their own cause. And I want to add one more thing here. The nuclear option, which what Harry Reid did. Harry Reid made it so every elected position below Supreme Court could be elected by a majority vote. This includes cabinet members. This includes federal judges. So that's why Obama stacked the federal courts with progressive judges. So... Donald Trump has stated that no matter what, Neil Gorsuch will be on the Supreme Court. The turtle, Mitch McConnell, said the same thing. So if the Democrats are so politicized that they force McConnell to do what Harry Reid did and use a nuclear option, that will end badly for them. And why? Because Clarence Thomas, another Supreme Court justice, is a Republican and he's considering retiring. Ruth Ginsburg, a progressive, is 84 years old and probably won't be around long. If she, if she doesn't die as a justice, she will probably go clinically insane eventually. Bayer is 78 years old, or 80 years old, and he will soon probably die or retire. Kennedy, just what the hell, Justice Kennedy is also that age, and he will probably be out soon. So essentially what Chuck Schumer is doing here, what he is saying here, is that we are forcing you to use a nuclear option because we are so upset that Donald Trump is the president and you guys didn't let Obama nominate Merrick Garland. You didn't give him a domination hearing, even though my colleague and good friend Joe Biden said that we should not do that. He doesn't understand this, that he could potentially give, be giving the Republicans, his so-called friends, up to five Supreme Court seats. And if he thinks that they have it bad now and that they are being treated unfairly now, just imagine when there's five conservatives on the Supreme Court, five new ones. Just imagine that, Chucky.
Judge Gorsuch was unable to sufficiently convince me that he'd be an independent check on a president who has shown almost no restraint from executive overreach. No restraint from executive order overreach. Coming from the guy who support Barack Obama, who said, quote, I don't need Congress, I have a phone and a pen, who said, quote, elections have consequences, who bypassed the Constitution on numerous occasions, who was shot down by the Supreme Court on a 9-0 uh, ruling when he tried to give amnesty to 4 million illegal immigrants. Obama is a definition of the, of the anti-Constitution. And he's making this claim that Trump is against the Constitution. Trump does overreach. I wonder what he thought about Obama then. If Trump is doing overreach, Obama must be a full-out communist. That's the only logical conclusion that can be made by Chuck Schumer. And also now about Neil Gorsuch not convincing him that he's doing a well enough job. He didn't convince him. They were saying that Neil Gorsuch doesn't stand up for the little guy. And then Neil Gorsuch, Ted Cruz, Senator Mike Lee, they all said dozens of cases where Neil Gorsuch did just that. In fact, out of 2,700 cases, they pick a few handfuls, one that they don't agree with it. They try to trap him into admitting and try to acting political that his decisions were wrong and he is biased to some degree. Gorsuch doesn't fall for it. Gorsuch totally evades their traps and make them look desperate and foolish. And because they didn't like that, because Gorsuch didn't fall for their traps, he doesn't think Gorsuch should be on the Supreme Court. It's, it's hilarious. It's sad, pathetic, but it truly is hilarious. Second, he was unable to convince me that, that he would be a mainstream justice who could rule free from the biases of politics and ideology. Yeah, I'm kind of curious how he didn't convince him of that, because it didn't matter who was questioning him, the left or the right. All he said was, I will not comment on ongoing cases. He did not do anything political. He talked for 22 hours. His hearing in two days were like 22 hours long. And yet he didn't do he didn't do anything political. This, once again, shows you the desperation that the Democrats have. And they nominate people like Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi. And it's truly hilarious, but I'm excited to see you in 2018. Once they lose more seats in Congress, they might even lose the filibuster in 2018. And if they force Republicans to do the nuclear option, you can say goodbye to the Supreme Court. If you think Roe v. Wade will be gone now, which it won't, but if you think it will be gone now, imagine if you had five conservative judges on the Supreme Court within the next four years. And I'm done.